know, real estate can be complicated. It is complicated. And you and you need to hang around people who are doing this business. And that's why we, we and we're not the only people that do it, but we have a really good real estate investor community in the in the, uh, the two towns that we buy most of our deals, which are San Antonio and Houston. And you got to you got to hang out with these people because this is not something you're going to learn overnight, but you're going to be surprised that you can get through this stuff and it's going to happen. And, um, and when you think about real estate, real estate, and this is kind of a, it's kind of a concept, but it's so true is that when I first started, I didn't want to talk to the bankers first of all, because I was an introvert, but I didn't want to talk to the bankers because I felt like, I felt like they were, they were my superiors and I, I was, I would have to go and beg, beg them. And then as I've grown and I realize that I'm the guy that makes the, you know, I'm the rubber that meets the road, right? I'm the one that makes these deals work. I'm the project guy. I'm the guy that, that turns something that's not working into something that is working. And you've got to believe that when you're the real estate investor, because you're putting these things together and the banker needs you right? We need them, but they need you just as much. And they're getting paid to perform. They're getting paid to put loans out there. And when you realize there's trillions of dollars sitting in IRAs, you got to, you got to tro- totally believe that energy, that force, that inertia, that requirement, that need to get that money working is so big that people will be, they're seeking you out. You just haven't raised your hand and said, Hey, I need that money. I need that hundred thousand. I need that 200,000. They're seeking you out. So it's hard to get the money because you're not raising your hand and you're not talking to the right people because you don't believe it. But once you believe it, you're going to raise that hand and raise both hands and say, Hey, are you stupid? Here's the, here's the deal. Here's where the money needs to go. Bring it to me. I don't have time to mess with you. I don't have time to uh, negotiate with you and, and dicker with you, you're either in or you're out. And when you truly believe that the money is not the problem and you understand why that force is pushing that money right into your lap, you're going to be saying, you're going to say money's not hard anymore. Then you're going to say the leads are hard, getting the deals hard, learning how to negotiate with the people, learning how to put the deals together. That's the, and, it, and even that's not hard. That's just education. That's just, that's just learning those steps. That's learning those pieces. So the, the sooner you committed to learning those parts, the easier getting these deals to work, easier getting the money and easier to figure out how to hold on to this deal. So that, that James's net worth is now $85,000 higher because he took plan B and not took plan A. And, and that's on one deal.